Bevel gear has a cone-shaped appearance as its pitch surface and its teeth are cut along the cone. Bevel gears are not interchangeable and always designed in pairs. Two bevel gears in mesh is known as bevel gearing. Bevel gears are used to transmit power between two non-parallel shafts. The shafts may be intersecting or non-intersecting. Bevel gears are usually mounted on shafts that are 90 degrees apart, but can be designed to work at other angles as well. The direction of rotation of a bevel gear is determined as clockwise, or counterclockwise by viewing the gear from the back. The main application of bevel gearing is in a vehicle differential, where the direction of drive from the drive shaft must be turned 90 degrees to drive the wheels. The pitch surface of a bevel gear is cone-shaped. It is the imaginary toothless surface that would be created if you average the top lands, peaks, and bottom lands, valleys, of the gear in cross-section. The pitch angle of a gear is the angle between the face of the pitch surface and the axis. The shaft angle is the angle between the axis of the intersecting shafts. The intersect of a bevel gear's pitch surface with its axis is called the pitch apex. With a mating gear pair, their individual pitch apexes should be made to intersect in order for appropriate teeth engagement. The heel of a tooth on a bevel gear or pinion is the portion of the tooth surface near its outer end. The toe of a tooth is the portion of the tooth surface near its inner end. Cone distance in a bevel gear, is the general term for the distance along an element of the pitch cone from the apex to any given position in the teeth. Clearance is the distance between the top of the tooth and its mating gear. Backlash is the space between the teeth in mesh. Backlash is needed to absorb manufacturing error and secure thickness of oil film on gear surface. According to pitch angle, bevel gears are classified to external, internal, and crown gear. The most familiar kinds of bevel gears have pitch angles of less than 90 degrees and therefore are cone-shaped. This type is called external because the gear teeth point outward. Bevel gears that have pitch angles of greater than 90 degrees have teeth that point inward and are called internal bevel gears. The gear manufacturing method is difficult and internal bevel gear are rarely used.
The bevel gear having 90 degree pitch angle and plane for its pitch surface is called as crown gear. According to geometry, bevel gears are classified to straight, spiral, zero, mitre, and hypoid bevel gears. The straight bevel gears are the simplest types of bevel gears, for transmitting power between intersecting shafts. They are commonly used on shafts that intersect at right angles. The gear teeth are straight but their sides are tapered so that they would intersect the axis at a common point, called the cone apex, if extended inward. The meshing gears have line contact. Hence, they are not smooth in operation, generate more vibrations and noise at high speed. Spiral bevel gears have teeth cut in helical form with the pitch surface being conical. They are mounted on shaft whose axes are intersecting. Spiral bevel gears have curved teeth set at an angle to radial lines, which allow contact to develop gradually and smoothly. They have more contact length and area and less power transmission efficiency compared to straight bevel gears. They are useful for high-speed applications and others requiring less noise and vibration. They are difficult to design and costly to manufacture, as they require specialized and sophisticated machinery for their manufacture. They produce more thrust load on shaft bearings than straight bevel gears. The spiral angle is the inclination angle of the curved tooth tangent to the radius vector from the intersection point of pinion and gear axis. The hand of the spiral on spiral bevel gears is indicated by the direction in which the teeth curve away from the axis. Right hand spiral bevel teeth curve away from the axis in a clockwise direction when an observer looks at the face of the gear. Left hand spiral bevel teeth curve away from the axis in a counterclockwise direction when an observer looks at the face of the gear. A spiral bevel gear and pinion are always of opposite hand, and it is quite common to specify the spiral of the pinion gear when identifying the combination. A spiral bevel gear set should always be replaced in pairs, that is both the left hand and right hand gears should be replaced together since the gears are manufactured and lapped in pairs. Because the teeth are curved, they cause thrust forces in the axial direction. Zero bevel gear is a special type of spiral bevel gear, where the spiral angle is zero degree. The teeth of zero bevel gears are curved but lie in the same direction as the teeth of straight bevel gears. Zero bevel gear has the characteristics of both the straight and spiral bevel gears. The forces acting upon the tooth are the same as for a straight bevel gear. While the loading of the zero tooth is similar to the straight tooth, the meshing is smoother and quieter than the straight bevel due to their tooth curvature and the slight overlap of teeth. Zero bevel gears are manufactured on the same machines as spiral bevel gears. Bevel gears with shafts at 90 degrees each other, and with the same number of teeth, 1 to 1 gear ratio, 
are called miter gears. Miter gears come in a straight tooth or spiral gear profile. Miter gears are used to change the direction of power transmission without changing speed. Miter gears may use the straight, spiral, or zero bevel tooth form. Because a pair of straight tooth miter gears has the same number of teeth, with the exception of minor differences such as set screw holes and keyways, the same two gears can mate with each other. However, in the case of spiral miter gears, even when the number of teeth are the same, the twisting directions are different. Therefore, the same gear cannot be meshed together, and it is necessary to pair the right and left handed pairs. Also, because the shafts can be set to any angle, there are miter gears with non 90 degree angle called angular miter gears. Hypoid gears are a modification of the spiral bevel gear, with the axis offset. The hypoid pinion is offset from the gear center, allowing unique configurations and a large diameter shaft. Hypoid bevel gears are used to transmit power between two non-parallel non-intersecting shafts. The pitch surface of a hypoid gear appears conical but, to compensate for the offset shaft, is in fact hyperboloid of revolution, as opposed to a spiral bevel gear which is normally conical. Its pitch surface is composed of a conical surface and a line contacting surface of revolution. The offset allows hypoid pinion to have as few as five teeth in a high gear ratio set, while the various types of bevel gears typically don't have less than ten teeth on pinion. The smaller number of teeth on a hypoid pinion means that, Larger ratios can be obtained with a hypoid gear set with a bevel gear set of the same dimensions. The teeth of the pinion are manufactured longer and stronger for a given ratio. And like a spiral bevel gear set, it can run very smoothly with little noise or vibration. That is, like a worm gear set it can transmit a large torque. And like a spiral bevel gear set, it can run very smoothly with little noise or vibration. The positioning of the hypoid gear implies that multiple teeth mesh simultaneously, thus sharing the load over a larger surface area and allowing for a greater transfer of torque. The hypoid gears permit certain amount of sliding action along the direction of tooth element, which requires good lubrication. In general, hypoid gears are most desirable for those applications requiring large speed reduction ratios, non-intersecting shafts, and also great smoothness and quietness of operation.